It's maple syrup season at the cabin, and we've got a lot to do. So let's get started. This episode is sponsored by Bespoke Post. I began the morning on the trail, where I traveled to a stand of sugar maples. back to the cabin, I stopped alongside the trail to build a small fire, as I had become slightly chilled from the ride. my brand new coffee kettle to warm up by the fire, which was provided by Bespoke Post, today's sponsor. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. 90% of products come from small brands, many of which are based in the US. For example, this Damascus steel knife is made by Buck and Bear Knives, which is located in Pennsylvania. Every month, they introduce their members to cool new products based on a preference quiz they fill out. They've got awesome clothes, cool stuff for your house, camping and cooking gear, basically high quality stuff in every category. 
they now offer a new membership program where you can get great deals all year round. I'm talking 30% off or more sometimes, and it's free to join. Preview your member shipment before it's sent. You'll get a customized selection of products picked just for you. Before it's shipped, you can preview what's inside. Then you can decide if you'd like to keep it, swap out products, or skip the month entirely for no charge. This is the Billy Box, which includes a travel coffee kettle, which I just used on the trail, cup, cleaning cloths, and mini stove to perk the coffee on. Then there's the Forge Box, with my Damascus steel knife and leather sheath. To get a free mystery gift with your first membership purchase, click the link in the description and enter Outsider Gift at checkout, or go to bespokepost.com forward slash Outsider Gift. During the spring thaw, sap, which the maple has been storing in its roots over the winter, will rise up the trunk and into its branches. Soon after, the maples will don their emerald crowns for another year. harvest from the maple will only be a drop in the bucket, no pun intended, compared to the vast stores of sap that it will keep for itself. From the time that the indigenous tribes of North America first discovered how to make syrup from its sap, the maple tree has always been happy to share. My next job, while waiting for the buckets to fill, was to build a backwoods evaporator to make the maple syrup on. This old metal crate should do just fine. When I bought my sawmill, seven years ago now, it was shipped in this crate. I held on to it, knowing that someday it would come in handy. And today is that day. There, now the sap pans can sit on top of the crate while I feed the fire from underneath. My last job before the boil down is to deal with another hazard maple which has been looming over the cabin. Just like in the last episode, this is going to be a tricky takedown. My goal is not only to keep it from hitting the cabin, but also any of the surrounding trees on the way down.
I kept the lower section of trunk for the sawmill, and I cut the rest of the tree up into firewood, which I'll use for the boil down. Well, the tree's been topped, the sawmill cage has been converted, and the maple tree has been felled. So everything I need to do today has been done and I'm just gonna take a moment now to warm up at the fire and have a hot drink before hitting the trail. I'll be taking a snowcat on the long journey home today because a thaw is on the way and all the snow is going to disappear. So I wanna make sure that the snowcat isn't stranded out here in the bush. Uh, but when I return, I'll be bringing the tractor, the old Massey Ferguson with me, along with my beautiful wife and daughter because we're gonna be doing the boil down together. We're gonna to be making maple syrup. Uh, and I'm really excited for that along with my family because although I've made maple syrup several times before I've never been able to have my family out here with me and that's because the boil down is a day-long process from morning until evening uh, and so when I bring my family out here I want to make sure that they have a warm and comfortable place to stay uh, so now that we've got the cabin here uh, they can step inside and get warm and grab a bite to eat whenever they want but if they want to join me outside and help me with the boil down, all they have to do is walk outside the door and I'll be right there. So I'm really looking forward to this year because, like I said, my family's going to be with me for the whole, the whole day. Uh, and I'm really excited to show my daughter the whole process of making maple syrup from tapping the trees to uh, gathering the sap and boiling it down into maple syrup. One week later, I return with my family to collect the sap and boil it down at the cabin. Before heading out to collect the buckets, I hung this Cabela's bird feeder at the cabin. I've always admired these hardy little birds, especially the chickadee. While many of our birds migrate south for the winter, these little guys tough it out. A true Canadian bird, if I've ever seen one. In total, I collected 135 liters of sap from a dozen trees.
It's become a tradition with my family to save some of the sap to make coffee, or in my daughter's case, hot chocolate, to enjoy during the boil down. My daughter and I set this kettle out in the morning to collect sap until the afternoon. Then when it was full, we handed the kettle in to Mrs. Outsider, who used the sap instead of water to fix our hot drinks. The maple sap coffee is a special treat, which can only be had once a year. It's slightly sweeter than a regular coffee, with of course a hint of maple. As the sap continued to boil down, I began pouring the pans into each other, one by one, until there was only one left. Then, I poured the last pan into a pot, which I brought inside for the finishing boil on the wood stove. Well, after collecting 135 liters of sap and taking 13 hours to boil it down, we now have three and a half liters of homemade maple syrup. And uh, although it takes a lot of work, and really it's not economical, we could never sell this and make our money back with all the labor that I put into boiling it. Uh, the good news is that I used scrap lumber to feed the fire, so I wasn't using any good or valuable firewood to, uh, to make the syrup. But anyway, there's nothing like homemade maple syrup. So when I taste between the mass-produced maple syrup and our homemade stuff, I find, and my family does too, that the mass-produced maple syrup is still really good, but it's not as flavorful. It's mostly sweet. It's got a little bit of a maple flavor with a bit of a, a sharper, a slightly sharp aftertaste. But with homemade maple syrup, it's full of maple flavor. Uh, it's got hints of caramel, and as well, it's got a very smooth aftertaste. So anyway, when I came in to do the finishing boil, it was around midnight. That's when I finished making the syrup, and I finished right on the wood stove. Uh, and by that point, my wife and daughter had gone to bed, and it was just nice to sit here with a coffee and let the boil finish. And then when my wife and daughter woke up in the morning, I had fresh homemade maple syrup waiting for them for breakfast. So uh, I think maple syrup season, other than Christmas time, is, uh, is the season that I look forward to the most at the cabin because it just involves the whole family. Uh, obviously, I'm used to doing very um, physically demanding jobs around the cabin. So it's nice just to kind of sit by a fire all day and just feed the fire and make sure the syrup's at the right temperature. So that was a nice, relaxing time for me. And again, just nice to have my family out here with me. 
Anyway, uh, we're going to be heading into the building season soon. So I'm going to start gathering materials for the front porch. So I think I'm going to be grabbing some boulders wherever I can and dragging them to the cabin site. And then uh, obviously harvesting a few more cedar trees to make the lumber for the, the porch itself. And then I've got some other things on the go this year. So I'm really excited to get into building season now, now that maple syrup uh, season is finished with. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until next time, my friends, stay safe, be well, and God bless.